Alrighty, people. 95 Silverado 454 TBI. Problem here was the oil cooler lines, not the transmission, the oil cooler lines were leaking. Not bad, but bad enough where they were getting really loose to the point where I was scared I was going to break off and drain all my oil out. I guess it's pretty common. It's the first time I ever dealt with it, but for them to leak out of these points. So, we're just going to change them. I haven't seen anything on the internet about them. But the top and bottom are two different sizes. Like I said, it's a 454 TBI. So this is a one part number, and then this is the other part number. Top and bottoms, they're like 30 bucks each. And then all the other videos I've seen, they're like a twist on kind of thing. But, well I mean the top is twist onto the radiator. I haven't seen any other videos like this, that's why I'm making it. This goes onto the radiator, but this bottom part, I didn't see any other videos. This one is not a twist on. It's like a pop in, but like it has like a clip that goes in there, which it's this clip. So I couldn't find any videos how to do it. So like I said, just unscrew it from there. Goes down, I already put the bottom one in. Let's see. And then, well you, go, well, you guys could see that, but, yeah, it goes into there, right next to the oil filter, and that's the oil cooler line, so, yeah, and, like, there's the, the clip, it goes, let me see, the clip is right there, and then the line goes there, and there, you just push it up, and then you stick the clip in one of them, yeah in the best way to get the clip in is use one of these little pick things there's you just kind of stick it in there and twist it around till you find it grab it and just pull it out and it just pops out so yeah that's how you do it guys okay a little quick video part of the other one so when I took these lines out I didn't pay attention to which one was front or back so that was my fault but they only go in one way and what I mean by that is see how like this one has like the the one in the front closer to the filter has like a, a bend on it so that one will not go in the back if that one is not on right it will not fit on right I thought that the bottom line is ideally shorter so the bottom would go closer to the front of the truck which is that way but it's actually quite the opposite the bottom one goes to the back closer to the filter and then the top the upper line goes there because yeah you see how it has the bend it will not go in without it being in that so you can't put them in the wrong way if it's not going in then that's probably your reason and they do kind of get stuck when you try to push them up because it has to be like super flushed like straight to go in so i grabbed the back of the bar with one arm and i pushed my finger on this one and like wiggled it up and down until it like went in but do not hit it with a hammer to try to get in because i think these are made out of aluminum and you don't want to crack those Especially if you're in like my situation where you have to drive two hours just to get these or wait a week to get them shipped to your local auto parts store. Like me, they didn't have them at AutoZone. They said about seven days and O'Reilly's shipped one. They shipped both of them, but they dropped one off at fucking one store too early, two hours away from me. So I had to go get it myself or wait a couple days. So yeah, that's about it, guys.